Following the theme of plan production, in this exercise we're going to create plan profile sheets. On the output tab of the ribbon under the plan production panel, I'm going to select the create view frames command. This allows us to create view frames along our alignment for plan pr profile sheet creation. I'm going to select plan and profile sheet types and then I'm going to select my template. The template that I'm going to pick is the architectural D size sheet plan and profile at a 20 scale. For our view frame placement we have to decide to rotate these view frames along the alignment or rotate them to north. Uh, I like to keep them rotated along the alignment uh, which is especially useful here since our alignment is really running mostly north and south. This is going to cut down on the number of sheets we have. I'm going to set a little overlap at the very beginning of 50 feet before we start our sheets. For our view frame groups uh, we have our uh, styles and labels. Basically this is just what the view frame itself is going to look like. On the match line sheet we select how we want our match lines inserted and positioned. Uh, I'm snapping my stations down to the nearest one foot and I'm allowing a little bit of distance for overlap. I'm allowing uh, 20 feet there for overlap in case I need to move it some to get out of the way of something. For our labels, we're just going to have basic labels there. And I need to pick a profile view style that I'm going to use so it will be able to effectively lay out my view frames. I'm going to use my full grid. And for my plan band set style, I'm going to select uh, plan profile sheets. Once we click OK, I can zoom in and see that my view frames have been created along with my match lines. That's a view frame. It has one grip on it. That grip allows you to rotate the view frame if need be. I can grab it and swing it in any direction. If I select my match line, I'll have a couple of grips as well. The diamond shaped grip allows me to position the match line along the alignment and you can see that I'm locked into that, that 20 foot offset on either side. I can stretch my match line in and out using the triangular grip at the end. Let's take a look here. I've got my very end one there. And uh, you'll see it says our next sheet number and it's filled in with, with pound signs. And uh, what that is, it hasn't created the sheet set yet, so it doesn't know to fill in that number from the field. So now that those are created, we're going to create our sheets using the Create Sheets command next to the Create View Frames command. But I remember from when I was working with my section sheets that we're going to have to save this drawing and I want to save this as a different drawing just for data purposes for this exercise. You won't need to do this. You'll simply just go in and save the drawing when prompted. So I'm going to do a save as there. And uh, now I can go in and finish creating my sheets. So create sheets. We're going to select all of our view frames. Uh, we have an option for our layouts. Unlike section views, uh, we can put our layouts in new drawings. We can put all of our layouts in a new drawing, uh, one layout per new drawing, or all of them in the current drawing. And I'm going to drop them all in the current drawing. There's not that many. Uh, and I'm going to select my layout name template here. Instead of giving it a counter, I don't want to use next counter. What I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to give it a name that lets me, you know, I can recognize what I'm looking at when I see the name. So I'm going to call this uh, PP sheet and then I'm going to enter my station values. So I'm going to do my 
view frame start raw station and insert that and then I'm going to type the word 2 and then enter my end raw station. So the name of these sheets will be uh, PP then start station 2 end station. I'm going to insert a north arrow. I have that option to insert the block. It'll be rotated correctly. I am going to create a new sheet set. This does just like our plan profiles, but I'm going to create a new sheet set for this one. Excuse me. This does just like our sections did, only I'm going to create a new sheet set for this instead of using that one. Now I can pick um, my profile view that I used earlier, but I do want to choose my settings here because there may be some, some differences that we need to take a look at, uh, specifically my profile view height. If it has to split, I need to select what the split profile view is going to look like. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and, and pick that. Make sure I'm going to select my uh, my pipes and pressure networks to display. And then make sure I have the right data bands there. Now I'm going to select finish. I'm going to align my plans and profiles at the start and then simply select create sheets. Again, you're going to get the option to or the warning that you have to save the drawing. Now you go in and drop your plan profiles into the right. Just like with our section views, it's going to create a sheet set. Give me a message saying that they were created. And I can take a look at the sheets at the layout tabs at the bottom and see that everything was created. There's my profile views that were cut up and placed in the drawing. And there's one of my layouts with my title block, my match line, and I'm shaded on the other side of my match line. So everything looks good.